Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Noita. So, I was pretty salty in the last episode. I did a horrible job, and I was honestly just kind of like going to put it off to the side for a bit until I understood about the game. And I thought, like, you know, what am I going to have to do? Watch a bunch of videos and research it to get good. And that would probably help, but I generally don't like to do that. However, I will always take advice from people on YouTube and uh, who comment on the videos. And I got an amazing piece of advice I'm going to try out here, which is I'm playing the game wrong. And I'm playing the game wrong um, because I am... using a controller <laughs> and I know that sounds odd but um, I was let's see using a gamepad and I'm going to not do that anymore um, and so let's see input we're going to go with um, keyboard mouse no we want um, no keyboard mouse. So gamepad off. Apply and return. Now, the reason is you can explore the environment much easier with the mouse, look at and interact with objects and understand what they do better. And so I'm going to try it this way and see what I think. All right. So anyway, here we go. Um, now, unfortunately, the controls here are still showing me, um, what it wants me to do with the gamepad. Um, actually, so because of that, I'm going to just, uh, new game. I'm going to start over all the way and just see if it'll change even these graphics to display the, uh, keyboard commands. Here we go. Yep. So, WASD, move me around. Now, here I am moving with... I normally do not like moving like this, but I will say that the control with the mouse instead of the right stick on the gamepad gives me much better control. Much better control. Um, so I can switch my stuff here and here. Um, I can just push tab, and I can look... Yes, and everything is just clearer. It's just, it feels easier to look at. So I have um, this wand, which is um, casting spark bolt, and then this wand, which is shooting a bomb. Um, and let's see. Are there any differences in the wands themselves? This is something I want to explore. Shuffle, no. Spells, one. Delay, two, four, sixteen, twenty-six, two, zero. And then, yeah, this wand is shuffle, this wand is not. And then, um, this has, like, no delay. But only has a capacity of one. So, what if I... I don't know if I can do that here. I don't know if I can alter these wands right here. It doesn't look like it. So I'll have to wait for that. But let's see what happens. Alright. So I'm playing the game in a totally different way. Much less... Like, I was going into it like I'm playing a frenetic... Um, platformer kind of game, Metroidvania, and I'm going to go in and just blast things away, and now I see that uh, that isn't the way to do it, so I'm going to play it more methodically and just try to understand what I'm doing, so I can push F to kick, and then I can press I to open up my inventory, or I guess tab does the same thing. And then one, two, and change what I've got. All right. So let's let's give this game another whirl. So like this mushroom, um, is it anything? 
I was able to ask someone questions, and they explained that um, you don't really eat stuff. Like, I was thinking I should be eating things, and that just doesn't seem to be the way to do it. But look, yeah, see, when you aim up on the screen by the uh, different choices that you have for your wands and your potions, one through eight, the boxes in the upper left, it tells you ground, soil, damp rock. It gives you information. And so I'm going to try to figure this out. All right. So, yeah, I mean, like, before I was just speculating that this is gold. But now I know for sure this is indeed gold if I mouse over it. This is coal and then damp rock. Okay, so, you know, what are the properties of coal? What does coal do? And playing this way with more precision, from what I understand, respects the fact that this game is pixel by pixel and then is in more in, in spirit with how I should be playing the game so I'm going to use a bomb and I'm just going to oh god not that there you go have that happen so that I can um, attempt to pick up some gold I have 12 bucks all right this is a bad guy yeah, see, I can hit that guy a lot easier than I could before. Um, and that's going to keep me alive more than two seconds. I think the controls and, you know, were just a little bit too wonky. And now I also know that there is no, in general, there's very, very little health regeneration. So... You know, I'm expecting, like, oh, maybe I'm just missing out on healing. No, there is no healing. And my imprecision was causing me to get hurt much more than I should. Look at that lantern. It fell. Um, everything is burning from the oil and on and on and on. This is a corpse. I don't know if... It says meat, right? Um, and so I don't know if it does anything for me, but whatever. All right, I'm going to go over here. Yeah, see, I killed that guy. Yeah. Just having that little bit of aim is making all the difference in the world here. All right, that's terrifying. Um, this is wood, so it's going to burn. So I need to understand that everything in the environment is going to react to each itself, each other, based on its properties. And so this wood, of course, burns easily with the um, oil and fire from the lantern. All right. So this says it's glass. And I don't know if that does anything. Oh, God. Well, it explodes for some reason. It's not the usual kind of glass and let's put myself out so a lot of the time I'm just trying to extinguish myself from flames and I don't think these purple robes that I have are flame retardant um, so fire is as Frankenstein would say bad um, I mean it looks amazing alright let's check this out Let's move over here. Okay. I'm going to check the controls just to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. I keep looking for some kind of map. And there just is no map, but that makes exploration a different animal. Feels like you know, Pitfall 2. All right. That's a terrible reference if you've never played, but <laughs> makes sense to me. All right, so I can go up this shaft, but there's not much there. However, there is gold. I could burn this down, you know, or up. Let's see how far this fire spreads. I mean, does it go all the way up? It does. So just in the future, understanding that, hey, there's like these this wooden structure here. If you want to burn it down, you can. And I've done that. I 
and it's burning, debris is falling, and I'm just letting it kind of slowly um, put itself out so I can go explore what's over there. I'm getting my money's worth with this character. I bet if you're good at this game, you don't spend hardly any time at all at this point, and you're just flying through, prioritizing what's really cool. But for me, I'm just relishing the fact that I can stay alive for more than 10 seconds um, by ponderously oh boy and very very carefully exploring the environment using my precision oh boy this enemy seems to have caught itself on fire which works out well for me it barfed up some slime I guess and it's getting consumed um that mushroom is just really strong all right, here's a baddie. I don't see any way for me to fight this guy without hitting this lamp. I mean, it's just inevitable. Oh, did that not catch on fire? There we go. It, for me so far in this game, so much of my experience is um, just getting killed by accidental explosions and flames. Look at all the smoke. It's awesome. All right, here it comes. Just letting this enemy get burned. I feel kind of bad about this. I mean, what am I doing? I'm coming into this mine, and I'm just setting fire to it. I mean, am I a good guy? I don't know. I don't know. Is this, is this a sinister thing that I'm doing? Could be, you know? All right. Flames are dying out. Now, here's something I want to try, actually. I do have this, like, acid potion, right? And if I wanted to throw this... Oh, boy, it arcs very strangely. But now, now I can get the effect. So, it does appear to be burning through stuff. I was seeing if it would just extinguish the fire. Um, not really. Oh, boy. He fell... And he died, and then he dropped a bunch of gold. So I'm going to go try to get that. Now, I don't know if uh, how long like items persist. It looks like it's still here. Boom. Now I got a good amount of money. Oh, God, I'm on, almost on fire. Let's get out of those flames. There's something there. That doesn't look good. Yep. Take it down and take its gold. All right, well, we can kill baddies and take gold. That I understand. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now back here again. At my old stomping grounds, I'll get a little bit to drink. See, and this is my... My stomach is almost empty. Um, so I'm going to just fill it up with water. I don't know, you know, if I want to do that. What clothes protect you from fire? So maybe if you knew you were going to get on, you know, catch on fire, you would just douse yourself in liquid of some kind. It makes sense. I'm going to go just, like, fill up my belly. I don't know why. But I have this, like, dungeon crawl bit in me that tells me I need to eat because I don't want to die of starvation. But I don't even know if that's a thing in this game. If I need to be eating or, like, what the benefit it is. I was kind of, like, operating under the false belief that like in Minecraft, if you had enough food, you would uh, regenerate your health or something. That's not happening. I do believe someone has corrected me or just given me information, oh boy, that noita is the right way to pronounce this game, and it's a Finnish word. I think Rick was saying it's Finnish for witch. And I do very much feel like a witch. Now, I want to get this gold, but I don't want to touch this, like, toxic sludge. This layer of sludge over here, is this shallow enough so that it won't hurt me? Is it only if it's, like, deep like this? Because this doesn't register as being toxic sludge. Anyway. I'll have to figure it out as I go. Okay, so here's a explodey box. 
I just like to do that. I mean, it looks amazing. Uh-huh. It's kind of like that Missile Command-style circular explosion that just rips a chunk out of the environment. There used to be this game that everybody would program um, with basic... It was like Scorched Earth or something like that, where you were you just made two tanks that would fire at each other with artillery that would like make those kinds of explosions. That is definitely what that reminds me of. All right. Oh, there's something over here that's shiny and beautiful. See, and now I really oh god. All right, that was I took a direct hit from that guy. I, I need to learn that enemy better. I, there's a guy that looks similar to that, that, like, lobs explosives. I don't know. But now I'm getting more, I feel like... See, the gold disappeared, so it had a limited shelf life. I don't know if it just burned and died that way, or it just... It only lasts for a bit. But that this game is more about exploration than anything else. And so I'm glad that everyone who's helped me out so far has not really spoiled anything. Yeah, that... Okay, where are those coming from? This guy? Who's doing that? Um, what is that? Steel. Alright, I'm gonna get this. Um, this is a wand that shoots a slime ball. Alright, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh my, and it's just like making some huge explosion of slime over there. That was scary. Um, let me check out what this wand does. Oh, it just makes a bunch of slime balls. It's actually really good, and it doesn't have any... Um, it looks like it doesn't have any limitation. It just makes slime. Mana drain 20, damage 6, explosions. Okay, and then this is like damage 3. So, it's much faster, but it has no explosion. So this seems good. I'm going to try this out. What's this? Toasty egg. Um, what does the toasty egg do? Just something to eat, I guess? The egg feels very warm. Okay. I don't know what that means. Am I supposed to take it somewhere to hatch it? Um, I love how slow this projectile is. It's pretty funny, but the fact that it can chew through stuff is like a game changer. Can it do that to the environment? Not really, but to wood, it rips it apart. Coal, I can break pretty easily with this thing. But soil and stuff, not as good. But I, I want to see if I can get that gold. Or did I just break it? Did I just, like, shoot through the gold or something? All right, what's over here? Ah, flames are going to be over here. Okay. Let's knock this down. Let's see what's going on. Kill that guy. And let's just get this gold before it vanishes, I guess. All right. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, baddie down here. Yeah, see, that was a question I had, is can I hit myself? And of course I can. Um, so I can... This guy I don't think can be hurt by that wand. We got a real standoff here. Alright, I gotta get this guy. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, we killed him, but we aren't doing well. Flammable gas? That doesn't sound good. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I got the gold. I really want to just get to the next level if I can, because I'm getting knocked around. So one of the things that I feel like I probably have to learn is like what am I looking out for 
that would indicate that I'm near the next level, right? Worm meat. Well, can I eat that? Not really. All right. Wow. Now that's an explosion, huh? Okay. Oh, here's something special over here. And then this purple thing. I think that means the way out, but I don't quote me on that. This is called the special glowy thing. What is this? Concentrated mana. All right, well, I guess that's good. What does this mean? You gain mana faster. Okay. And then this is a worm pheromone potion. Oh, there's potions all over the place over here. Um, this is ambrosia potion, whiskey potion, acceleration potion, berserkium potion. Um, I don't know what these do, but I am happy that I got some potions. All right, I'm going to try to fly over here. And I'm going to just go down here to this purple guy. And yes, okay, so it is a new area called the Holy Mountain. And here's a witch like me. And there's like a lamp. And then here we go. I can make a choice, right? I can um, increase maximum health by 10. And then spell refresher. Um, all spells refreshed. Oh, okay. So I got this thing back up. Interesting. And my health is now 110. All right. And I can buy something. I don't have very much money. I can buy... Um, this wand or I can buy this wand always casts this spell or um, holy smokes it's not shuffle and it has some slots but then I don't have enough money to get anything else uh, I don't I don't know what this spell is I wish I could get some more information on it Well, um, this one looks like it does a fireball, and then this spell, whatever it is. And then this one does some kind of, like, phasey thing. So I'm going to buy the more expensive one. Um, oh, no, I can look at it like this. Uh, luminous drill with timer. A pinpointed short-range beam of concentrated light to cast another spell after the time runs out. Huh. And then this is Burning Trail and gives a projectile a tail of fire. So can does this wand do anything at all um, or not, right? Press E again to pick up the wand. Or I can look at this wand. And it says, Small Teleporter Bolt, a short-lived magical bolt that moves you wherever it ends up flying. That seems like a lot of fun. I'll have to try that someday, but I'm going to try this one. And I'm going to see how it goes. Perfect. Um, I'm going to see what this looks like when I... So, I don't know what's happening with this. It, sometimes it shoots all the way through. Oh, look, it's, it's showing me what's going on up here. Huh. This is so bizarre. So, maybe if you time it right, like, different things happen? I don't know what's going on. Interesting. All right. What can I get? I can get, um, close to inventory first. Oh, oh, right, right, right. So I can pick up low recoil. I can pick up pinpointer. Your wand arm emits a beam to help with aiming, or I can pick up kills to mana. Every time an enemy near you dies, you release mana recharging liquid. Um, let's try this pinpointer. Yeah, it's like a laser sight. I love this. I know it's probably a crutch that you don't need, but I love stuff like this. 
Sweet. All right, I'm going to fly out. And oh my god, the whole thing's exploding. And we're in the coal pits. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> that was interesting. Alright everybody, this is a great place to end the episode. We are not dead. I feel good. Woo. And I can't wait to explore more. I'm so happy to learn in a better way how to play this game and we will see what happens with these new wands next time i hope you have an excellent evening or day take care